Hey, baby, my friend, he's going to pick me up tonight. Um, we're going to go for a couple of drinks. Right? Who's going to pick you up tonight? My friend. He's going to pick me up. So he, we can go get a couple of drinks. He, I get it. If somebody comes to this door and it's a man, I, or everything I love... I just said like, he. So okay, what is he? Like, I'm telling you, let somebody come We're to just me. friends. I, all right. All right. Y'all going to be more than just friends. I want y'all to start dating. If he come pick you up, y'all dating now. And I want you out of here. That's what, that's what. Since he's just your friend, he's going to come pick you up. Tell him, tell him to pick up everything. He was standing on business and handled that pretty effectively. Cause it's just so great to be able to stand up for yourself. Next, we got someone exposing some of the problems in modern dating. What comes out of their mouths these days? They ask somebody, what do you bring to the table? Say, look at me now. I am the table. What do you bring to the table? Don't say, ah, I have brains. I can do this. I can help you take your business to the next level. They think this is the table. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. My disappointment is immeasurable. I go back and forth between wanting partnership and then not knowing what's the best partner for me. Mm. Like bringing them into my world and what I got going on isn't easy. Mm. And it's, it's not just, I love you, you love me. That should be enough, right? It's not, it's not quite that simple. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I think finding the right person to understand a all of me, but then all that comes with me as well. You can say that if Michael B. Jordan is having some problems and it can't be that good. So it might just seem a bit lonely at the top. Now the comments of this next one were pretty torn as to whether they'd approve or disapprove of this following treatment. Some of y'all want to marry me and date me and you don't want to do that. You know why? Because I'm annoying as f I'm annoying. I'm gonna call you from work like, hee <laughs> hee, what you doing? Hee <laughs> hee, are you leaving work? Giggle, giggle. Are you gonna leave work? Come hang out with me. I know you're working. Meh. Come home. Boo. Let Next one has got to be the king treatment. Man needs to hear this, but you're never gonna use that box of random wires. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. She's never gonna wear that pair of red high heels she has in her closet either. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, if I have a boyfriend, I'm not gonna go to the clubs without him. If he doesn't want to go, I'm gonna stay at home. Oh. See, that's right money. There. That's money. That's, exactly that's, that's how it should be. But what is exactly what it should be at work late at night and it's doing something else and, and I'll you're literally home. just sitting there doing nothing uh, i'll stay home that's being a that's, people -pleasing. see i, I was waiting to hear that answer because no. let me tell you something you don't believe me would you guys I agree with that I in my Honestly, best yeah. relationships in my best I'm relationships not, yeah. wait guys let, let chase let in chase. my best relationship i was waiting to hear an answer like that because in my best relationships the girl wanted to do whatever i wanted to do and there would be times where she'd be like, hey. And like, that's the best relationship. Like, yeah. Where yeah, girl is because doing she was whatever so, you want to do. so in love with me that so she was like, I just want to spend time with you. Well, you can kind of say that a couple should be able to do things without each other. Just probably not to the club or their party. Next, we got a pretty fair dating outlook. You said if you don't know what you want, how's your partner supposed to? What do you want? Uh, I want someone who has a high level of integrity. I want someone who's kind, not nice. And I want someone who is very disciplined. Because the thing is, like, people talk about, oh, I want this job, I want this lifestyle, yada, yada, whatever it is. I think if you focus on core values and characteristics of people, that is something that you can go a lot further with because they will end up being there. Your partner doesn't need to be everything for you. We are social animals. It's, it's not fair to put everything on a guy in this situation to be your best friend, your confidant, the one that's supposed to provide you excitement, but also stability and security. It's not fair to ask one person to give you all these things when most of us can't even give it to ourselves. Sure. So it's looking for what you need, not necessarily what you want. I don't have a problem communicating as long as the problem is outside of her. You see what I'm saying? I, like when I we get to talk, but when she's the issue, the communication don't be as 
back and forth. It don't be as open. It don't be like it like it should be. Now all of a sudden it's super defensiveness. Now all of a sudden you're not letting me finish sentences. Now so, all of a sudden so it becomes same, a bunch of but, resistance. Okay, so let's talk about it. Sometimes you have to do that for us too. So just like y'all want us to cut up things in sizes that's digestible for y'all, maybe y'all can tell us things in ways that's digestible for us as well. What do you mean by that? So it appears that she cut him off just to help prove his point. So that's probably why they say that we've got two ears and one mouth, which is to help us listen. Now this next one is a rather complicated scenario. <laughs> The saddest part is, I had many reasons to leave, but I chose to stay. You had many reasons to stay, but you chose to give up. We're not the same. If you're an overthinker, I know what your problem is. Your problem is when you start getting too attached to someone, your mood depends on how they respond to you. That you are so sensitive to someone's emotions you that you can notice the slightest down. change in their behavior. And that's a fact. She said, uh, I'm 50 years old. I have uh, three degrees. I'm very successful entrepreneur, CEO. When I come home after a successful day at work to an empty home, no husband, no children, no family, it's not good. You know that sometimes chasing that independent lifestyle might not just work out that well. And something like starting a family might just be in their best interest. She is divorcing you. Yes. Are you okay with that? I mean, I don't want to get no divorce, but if that's what, you know, what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Do you love her? Yes. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to stay with her? Hey, the honesty. I mean, sometimes it could just take too much effort. And it's good to accept the circumstances and work from there. Just because someone gets the date doesn't exactly mean they got the commitment or even the ring on the finger. Are you guys best friends or dating? No, we're just best friends. Best friends? Okay, but I give you ten thousand dollars cash right now on the spot if you guys kiss. Hell no. No, why not? This guy's so unattractive. No one ever date him. Damn, it's like that. <laughs> Bro, what are you gonna say about that? You know what? When you take your makeup off, you look like a dude. <laughs> If you are single, you need to have minimum five men, not less. Because if you have only one, when you have with him cheeky cheeky, you become to be an addiction of him. Five, five, five. I will teach you about. Life. Seems like there might be a paradox of choice at play there. Like, how does that make sense? This next one reads: Me looking at the "Why can't I see your location?" text while I'm cheating. Okay, so 
so there is hope. I mean, let's hope these are not just words and actually backed up by action, but still looks like a great start. If you love someone, you love them no matter what. So like, yeah, it's okay. Wait, wait, wait hold on. Yes. Repeat that last part. If you love someone, you love them no matter what. Are you talking about unconditional love? Yes. You believe there's unconditional love? Yeah. Have you ever had that love for anybody? Yeah, I think oh, that I have. A romantic partner? Yeah. Stop the cap. Did you break up with him or did he break up with you? I broke up with him. Well, it must have been conditional. You fell out of unconditional love? How does that work? We didn't talk. So I feel like that doesn't really... So there were conditions to your love? Communication. Talking. I guess, yeah. Unconditional love. That's what we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. If you have unconditional love for someone, there's nothing he could do to f that up. Okay. I guess you're right. Yeah, outside of your close family members and your parents, unconditional love is quite a rare thing. So it's a term that shouldn't really be thrown around that much. When I was 20, I met the perfect man. Handsome, kind, funny, intelligent, generous. Invited him to my 21st birthday. He met my sister. They've been together for 15 years and have three kids. Being the maid of honor was the hardest day of my life. Bomba. <laughs> Clart. What do you do? I'm a uh, business development manager for a large bank in the Northeast. Tell me if there's anything interesting about your job. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. It, it's interesting to me, but I'm sure that it would probably go right over your head. You're always very quick, are you, Howard? <laughs> in some things, yes. In other things, I like to uh, take my time, if you know what I mean. I have absolutely no idea what you mean. What? <laughs> Somehow I don't doubt that. <laughs> uh, seems like the host turned into the weakest link. But how are you going to get mad when you started it and then act so confused? Let me see that bank account. I don't even know you like that. Mm. What's my name? We can start. I don't know. What's your name? See, you don't even know my name. Why would I even show you my bank account and all that extra stuff you're asking for? Well, you're asking for my name and my number, so I want to know your name and your bank account information. My name's Nate. Okay, nice to meet you. Yeah. And your bank account. Yo, you're wilding right now, bro. Mm, I guess so. I understand why you're single. Oh, yep. Bruh. So apparently it looks like the nice ones finish last, which is sad because they often make the best husbands. Oh well. I'm in a very good mood this morning because I'm doing my favorite thing, looking at pictures of myself. I invited a guy over for dinner and that's all I told him is that I'm making him dinner. What I'm making him is the famous TikTok pasta. I've also got a salad in here, like ready to go, just ready to kind of like dish out. And I've got a station set up so I can make us raspberry lemon drop martinis because that he really likes raspberry and I really like lemon. And pretending like I'm a bartender, of course. That's not the fun part. The fun part is that I was originally gonna make this a picnic, but obviously the pasta, the martinis, and the salad don't really transfer well, and it's a long walk to the picnic spot that I had in mind. So you guessed it, I moved the picnic inside. This is the setup. It's got my picnic blanket, all the dishes laid out, including the glasses that are all prepped for the lemon drop raspberry martinis or whatever. Yeah, so that, that couple over there, I wanted to like kind of surprise them and pay for the dinner. Yeah. Uh, do you think you could do that for me? Yes, that's totally fine. Yeah. Is happy because he knows that he was likely going to be the one paying for it. But it is great to see some wholesome acts every once in a while. How much money should your man make a year, Heather? Eight figures. Eight figures. Okay, so that's $10 million. Yeah. How much do you want your man to make? I would like, yeah, like a successful entrepreneur who is making more money than me. So minimum baseline minimum. is a six-figure man. Minimum. Yeah. You guys are comfortable with being delusional. Absolutely. You want to be humbled? All right. Well, you know that really long and super personal text that you sent them? Yeah. They definitely showed it to their friends. And if they didn't show it to their friends, they showed it to their mom.
They didn't show it to their mom. They showed it to someone. I'm in a great relationship right now, but I'm still getting over my ex. Oh, no. I have to talk to you today. I want to verify one more time. This is your girl, right? Yeah. She just told me she's in a happy relationship, but she's still getting over her ex. How do you feel about that? I mean, it is what it is. He put the shades back on. He said it is what it is. Well, on the real, why are you doing that? Why aren't you over him yet? We got together the day I broke up with my ex. He started it. It's not my fault. What do you think about that, bro? Cap. Should I run or should I stay? Let him know in the comment section, please. Run. At the very least, take a break. But... It doesn't seem that good. That's just a huge red flag right there. Rule number 31. Nobody is too busy to call or to see someone. If they like you, they will find a way to be with you. Trust me. <laughs> I'm built different. Okay, these are just hilarious. But technically the guy did it between his biceps while the girl just did it between her arm. So still not as difficult. See, the best thing you could do for me is to leave me to me so I could keep leveling up like I plan to. Except this time, do me the favor and don't come back. And that is real. You know that no matter what happens, your passions will still be there for you. Can you say the exact same thing about a partner? Probably not. So stay on your purpose. Wanting princess treatment. You're damn right, we do. I can't. My one girlfriend was telling me this story. I'm intrigued. That happened to her the other weekend, and she says this guy looked at her in the face and was like, I'm not going to chase you. Ah, a dude with self-worth. How off-putting. There doesn't even need to be a backstory on this guy because he's so irrelevant, but he said, I'm not going to chase you. Here's a question. Why should he? If she liked him, why should he need to chase her? First of all, you need the steps. Second of all, do you want us to give you flowers? Yes, and why not? We like a bit of appreciation too. Bring us breakfast in bed. Take us out on dates. It's There is a clear difference between doing your part and being taken advantage of. So the relationship is definitely a two-way street. This is not fun. I am not having fun. I'd rather be at home with my wife and... I'm having fun. This is great. I'm having a wonderful time. Let them go! Let them the f go! Stop checking the social media! Stop hoping for a text message! Stop hoping that you might run into them! Just stop! They don't care! Move on! Heal! And move on! That's all you need to do! That's all you need to do! If they cared and they wanted it to work, y'all would still be together! But the fact that they just left the relationship, marriage, whatever, friendship just ended, that means they don't care! That should be enough motivation for you to move on with your life. Find out what makes you happy. Find you again. Move on. You know, no matter what happens, try to have some self-respect. Because feeling bad about this situation isn't going to change it. Especially when the other person doesn't seem to care about you. What word is my vibe? I don't know. I'd like to find out together. Let's go ahead and do it. What the f***? Okay. Mice. Mm. Man. This next one reads, When you become single again and your bill goes from 95.85 back to 10.08. <laughs> Damn, lock screen? You guys are getting pretty serious. Yeah, dude, it's just a lot of fun. Dude, who is that? I thought she just left. She becomes fluid. What? No way. This guy. 
Once you don't reply to my message, I delete it immediately. <laughs> you can't practice being a celebrity on me. Look, I your boyfriend because look what he got me and look what he got himself. Bro, I told you, get whatever you want. Kick it out of here, bro. Ain't nobody tell you to choose that. I told you, get whatever you want. You get that. No wonder, bro. No wonder, bro. Stop, stop recording, bro. Let me go, man. Look what he got me. I mean, he told her get whatever you want, and then she complains about it. Like, what? <laughs> I think he deserves better. Mama, I'm going out with the boys tonight. And before you even say anything, don't talk to me, don't call me, don't text me, don't DM me, don't Snapchat me, don't email me, don't do that weird Star 67 sh Don't do that find my iPhone sh You make my sh go off. Don't look at the location, don't think about me, and don't worry about me. Okay, bye. Get in your own spot, get your own crib. You know what I'm saying? Man, you ain't got time for no real, man. But once you start getting real money, man, you ain't gonna be stunning that shit real like that. I'm just being real. He's cute. Look. Yeah. Mom, stop. Stop. Mom! Stop! <laughs> stop! Go! Stop! I can't. Mom! That's a W. Well, if you feel a certain way, then make a move. Because on her end, seems like there's less to worry about. You can't just sit back and wait for it to come knocking at your door. Check out this next dude handling a cheater. It was fine, I guess. Oh, sorry, sorry. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Where is she? Why is she texting me? <laughs> so, like, uh, I want to get you one. Hmm, how about five? So, you freaky! If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. On the bed, in the living room, in the bathroom, and just hold back his tears or screams because he is so stressed. We're lost, confused, hurt, just ready to give up. But around others, he's perfectly fine, unbothered, and still manages to smile and go about his business like nothing ever happened. Yeah, the thing is, you guys can't complain. You just have to be a rock, literally. And can be made much easier with a great close circle of friends. The best thing I can tell young people is never to pay on a date. Do not go 50-50. Do not get pregnant. Understand that first and second and third boyfriend is probably not going to be your husband. All right? And you will get your heart broken a couple times. Just have fun, protect yourself, but and don't reach in your wallet. That's the best thing I can tell you. Uh, what are we? What are we? Who are we touching? Oh my friend, she's getting a puppy. You're kidding me. What kind? Uh, golden retriever. That's enough. That's enough. Who makes a hundred thousand, three hundred thousand a year? That's good money, but for my specific life goals, at twenty four, with plenty man, of the way you're talking. It's like you say you got a lot of options, but not for the kind and caliber men you're talking about. Not that kind of money. You may have a lot of options for dudes making, you know, average money, but not for no man talking about three, four hundred thousand dollars a year. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not here in Atlanta. Well, like I said, for my life goals, a hundred to three hundred thousand is just good. Unbelievable stuff. I mean, what type of life goals are we talking here? Calls you or texts you. You don't text and call back right away. Okay. But this is why a lot of y'all be getting your hearts broken. I want you to pay attention. When y'all start to play these little mind games, we start to play games with you. So a lot of y'all want to play this whole texting, calling mind game. I saw his text, but I'm going to wait 30 minutes. I saw his call, but I'm going to wait an hour because I want him to think about me, right? So in our minds, we're like, oh, she playing games. I ain't got time for it. I'm, an, I'm not going to take her serious. But you know what I am going to do? I'm going to finish the goal. So we play this little game with y'all, but in the back of our head, we already know we just want to be intimate. So what do you do for work? <laughs> do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> How many siblings do you have? Oh, you have a lot. You have a lot. You know, I don't really understand how someone can make fun of having a date, especially if they are likely getting a free meal out of it. Like, show some appreciation. Space shorts? No. Because your ass is 
out of this world. Actually, they're softball shorts because I'm out of your league. Bruh. Okay, so I'm currently at the beach and I just saw a guy who is so my type. I have to show you guys look. Oh my god. My number one example is as soon as he gets you, he stops giving you compliments or as soon as like he feels like, you know what I'm saying? He used to fiend for you and he used to like compliment you weekly, daily, every single two hours and then he just stops. He's trying to humble you. And then you get to thinking like, why is he not trying to do like, why is he not telling me I'm pretty and I know I'm pretty? He's trying to humble you, leave. Yeah, seems like the dudes can play the game too because many are tired of the tricks being pulled on them. So they might just hold back on a compliment or two. Excuse me, this is like extremely heavy. Can you just hold it real quick? What, this? The, the, the... Am I on camera? No. What is my problem, TikTok? I do not believe in this nonsense filter because it's never 100% accurate. And I know I do not have any problem. I am too beautiful. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> so like if you tell your girlfriend that she has the most beautiful legs in the world, she'll be happy for a few hours. But she's going to need to be reminded of this like 500 more times. Buddy, that compliment expired yesterday. Like, I remember a girl told me two years ago that I had really nice hands. I still remember that every single day. I will never need to be reminded of that. Yeah, compliments are often easily forgotten, but criticisms, yeah, those are probably going to stay in their mind, which could be taken as a hint as to what you improve. <laughs> When someone tells you they don't like you, check your bank account. Did he make a difference? Oh, These are good men out there. It's not about the dollar sign. It's about the intention. If a guy takes me to McDonald's and then buys me a meal. Amazing. I love McDonald's. It's the intention. It's the fact that he made a point and said, hey, I've got this. I want to take you. It's about the fact that someone went out of their way and they wanted to do a wonderful gesture for you. That's the point. And if you can't live in your natural self and you're sitting out here judging people for their height and things like that, you're not even living in your natural beauty. That's but not okay, what if, if makeup didn't have any sort of benefit to your appearance just wouldn't Did wear it. Say, are you guys skipping past no, but, the word in hand? But you're saying, you're your saying pictures. like, but, but, <laughs> no, like, so you are essentially misrepresenting your actual appearance or if you want to use enhancing, that's, you, you are to a degree, that's not what you actually look like. I mean, makeup is literally in the name. They want to wear it because they probably want to look prettier than they actually are in their natural self. So maybe then we can get away with rounding the height a little bit. Make sure that you have your own place. Keep your own place. So you've got somewhere to go back to. So before you start looking for it, make sure you've got that. Make sure that you're debt free, whether it's know in America, they always have college debt. You know, make sure that all your debts are paid off. That you don't owe no one anything and that you don't need anything from it. So Love yeah. is real, yeah. but it's thing. hard to find it. Oh, it's, what? Because I'm telling your thing. What do you mean? Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever been cheating? Yeah. Do you deserve better? Yeah. No. Let's try it one point why you deserve better. It's not me, it's 10 10. I need the best. So why did you cheat? Huh? Emotional damage. I mean, it's perfectly okay to be average. <laughs> How good is that? That feeling when nothing to do or say affect you anymore. That's just not a good choice. I'm not proud of you. I just got baby. Um, I just got off work, so don't look up here. Your world. I mean, people are free to do whatever it is that they want, but remember that actions do in fact have consequences. So don't complain. Who usually pays for the days? Do you even have to ask? So I'm assuming it would be him. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, that's a safe assumption, unless you knew Stacy here. <laughs> yes, very confident, demanding, 
So she makes me pay for everything. Yes, you're right. Under what circumstances do you cover the bill? Never. Why is that? Because I bring my value. How do you bring your value? By being myself. Okay. And entertaining this man. Yeah, we're having a great time. How do I bring my value? What do you mean? They, 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 <laughs> if I get invited or if she gets invited, that's probably the difference, right? You know, if she invited me out and she said, I want to take care of you, then she'd probably pay for it. But I think when we go out and I've invited her, then we'll go out and I'll pay for it. I mean, I wouldn't hang out with a guy that didn't pay. Okay. I just wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't be attracted. To it. There's a lot of people in the world, and but you you want to be spoiled. You want to be taken care of. Absolutely, because I bring my feminine energy to the table. Bro, run. You know, if you're generous enough to decide to pay for something, it should be appreciated rather than expected. Hopefully, we'll never find out. Oh, I decided that I need me a sugar daddy, but. Sugar that is that don't want no sugar. Drink. What are y'all doing on the weekends? Yeah, don't let others pressure you into doing things you ultimately don't want to do. So being a homebody is perfectly fine, and a lot of people might just find that attractive. You want to know if he's interested in you? Super simple and straightforward method, all right? So pay attention. Whenever you're texting him, does he always respond with one-word answers? Wow. Cool. Great. Good. Okay. Those are just some examples, but if there are one word answers, you have your answer. My daughter thinks that you are so cute. Oh my God. Stop! What's your name? Well, good to meet you, Will. Uh, looks like she rejected herself. Nice. We used to think that there was only alpha and beta, where alphas are at the top, and then betas are at the bottom. But sigmas are almost like a cheat code. They are at top with the alphas, but they are outside of the hierarchy. One of the biggest signs that you're a sigma is that you love being alone, but you still value others. Sigmas are never more comfortable than when they are alone. They might be viewed as introverted, and you also value people close to you, but it might be difficult to establish relationships. Another sign you're a Sigma is if you treat everybody the same. Sigmas reject the idea that you need to treat one person one way and other people another way, and this could make others dislike you. The last sign is that Sigmas are silent. They don't really talk about the little things in their lives. Yeah, Sigmas don't really need social hierarchies to thrive as they can handle things right on their own. Oh, you left me on delivered. You want to talk in person. Hey, 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 hey. I'm on my way. You're so cute. The way you blocked me on everything. <laughs> if you want me to drive over and see you in person, just say that. This message is for my future husband. So if you're not my future husband, please keep scrolling. Daddy, I don't want to work anymore. Sometimes we actually have to put in work to not work anymore. So it would help to put oneself out there to find a husband and ultimately get more rich. <laughs> Okay, guys, are you done eating? Yeah, can we get two checks? Um, bae, two checks? Um, my friend is here. Like, was you not going to pay for me? Who said I'm paying for you? Go make me a sandwich. Put some mayonnaise on it. Um, excuse me? You can't tell me what I have to do. I'm 30 years old. My friends are in long-term serious relationships or married or with kids, and I am feeling lonely. I've previously been really good about covering up this loneliness with work. I'm a surgery resident. I work 80 hours a week, so I don't often really have time to sit in that loneliness. You have failed relationship after situationship after whatever, and you just wonder, is this time ever coming for me? And I don't really want to emphasize any of the cliches of it'll happen when you least expect it or be happy with yourself first. That it did not help me. That made me infuriated at people that told me that. Okay, at least she seems to have figured out the problem, so hopefully she can set some time to try and find a man. We had interesting, funny, and wholesome videos today, and don't forget to like and subscribe.